Hello, Dura NC here. I'm the CEO at Optimum 7. So checkout customizations are all custom. If you require a certain type of checkout, we can't show you the exact thing that we did that you're requesting from a user level standpoint or conditional standpoint. So what I want to do is I want to show you a couple of examples of custom checkout. So there are three types of checkout. One is we adjust the checkout SDK and override everything. This is if you're trying to do a payment system or if you're trying to tokenize using a third party, if you want to do auto ship, if you want to do recurring billing, for example, using a WorldPay API or Stripe API, that's number one. Number two is if you want conditional checkout. Conditional checkout is the checkout items change or the checkout display changes based on a condition. It could be user levels. Let's say if you want your B2B customers, specific B2B customers, only when they log in and they go to checkout, you might give them a net 30, net 60, net 90 payment terms. You might display an agreement for them to sign based on the cards, based on the items on the card. You might want to show them a specific discount at checkout. You might want to give them an upsell, like uh, based on, you know, if I buy this gun, then I'm going to give you the handle for free and check out only to custom or only to certain users, right? Or you might want something like, okay, only when these products are added to the cart, I'm going to display a third section in the checkout, which I'm going to acquire some information. This could be for any kind of software license information. This could be for an agreement that you need them to sign terms and conditions if they're buying a product like a warranty or anything like that. So these are the conditional ones, right? And then the third type of checkout, conditional checkout or custom checkout that you have has to do with any kind of API integrations where I have to go grab a third party detail. So if you want a digital signature, for example, maybe all of your agreements and signatures are stored in uh, Adobe Sign. Right, so that's the third type where I need to go to a third party validate. Or let's say you want to do, you want to use one of these uh, payment systems, and you want to split the payment into five. So you want to get the last four of the social and their last name, and you want to do a soft credit check. I have to connect to a third party. So those are the three custom ones. But I want to show you a couple of them here. So this client, this is on Big Commerce. For example, if you do custom. This is fully conditional based on the product. So, you know, I can come here and I can select this product and I can select, I want an eight by uh, four by two. I want 500 boxes and then I can add branding. I can say this is an existing order or I want multiple panels. You know, when I say multiple panels, it's going to open up, but I can just upload my art. I can select an image here. You know, let's select a specific image. Now, let's do one of these screenshots, right? And then it's going to validate for file. For example, it can only be this type of file. And then you select how you want to add it. But I'm going to remove the this for now and I'm going to add it to cart. And you see that in the checkout, that price, whatever that was added, this is fully custom based on what the user selected. So this is a custom checkout. And I can display anything that I want here. Another one is if you look at the site, this is on Big Commerce. Uh, if you do subscribe monthly, you're going to see it's going to ask you for your name. Then it's going to ask you for your sign. I'm going to say I'm an Aries. What's important in my life, right? Select those. And then based on that, then once I enter my email address, based on that, what it's going to do is it's going to give me a specific plan. This is conditional based on your options. It's going to give you different plans. And in the back end, it assigns different products as well, right? I select $29.95 monthly. Now, when you're getting your, pers you know, then the upsell is custom again. Again, you know, I'm getting a custom upsell based on what I selected. Let's say I want to add it. You see, now everything is added. And in the back end, from the inventory management, the, the crystals that you selected are different. Okay. So this is conditional products on checkout based on the feedback that you provide to the user. The other one is if you, you know, this is a, a website with uh, that sells guns. If I go add to cart, I can add an item to cart. I can go to checkout. You see in the checkout, what happens is because I selected a gun, uh, let's enter my email really quick. Okay, it already has my information. And then you see it says ship to an FFL. It's selected an FFL already. So I need to, you know, I can pick a different FFL. This is all conditional based on my IP as well as my zip code. And I can say, okay, I'm not going to ship it there. I'm going to ship it here. 
And then you see the shipping is locked now. I have to ship to an FFL. So I say proceed to payment. My payment information is here and I can go ahead. So these are three examples of a custom conditional checkout that we can do on multiple systems like BigCommerce, Shopify, Magento, Vitex, uh, WordPress, WooCommerce, 3D Card, and Miva. Let us know if you have any questions. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our channel for more videos on marketing, e-commerce, custom development, and much more. Plus, new episodes of Surge, our weekly e-commerce and digital marketing podcast released every Wednesday.